All right, the recent arrest of former Trump advisor Roger Stone is raising new questions about police militarization and use of force. In this instance, the FBI storming Stone's Florida home with some 29 agents wearing tactical gear and carrying semi-automatic weapons. The pre-dawn raid where only CNN cameras were there to film. So joining me now to discuss, investigative journalist Ben Swan. Uh, so Ben, there were... 29 heavily armed agents there to take down this 66 year old man who was home alone with his wife and some of their little dogs. Uh, his wife, by the way, she's deaf. Uh, there were more agents at Stone's house than that took part in the bin Laden raid. Is this the definition of overkill? Uh, well, when you put it that way, how can anyone <laughs> say no, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely, it's overkill. But I actually think it's it's more than overkill. It's theater, right? This whole uh, arrest of Roger Stone, the way that it was conducted, the as you said, having these heavily armed SWAT team FBI members. There were armored vehicles outside. There were two of the uh, amphibious vehicles in the canal behind Roger Stone's house. Uh, there was a, a helicopter flying overhead. You would have thought they were taking down a major terror organization operating within the United States. No, it turns out it's an old man, his <laughs> wife, as you said, who is deaf, and their little dog. And Roger Stone, you know, spoke this weekend about it, saying he doesn't even own a gun. Uh, there is no reason why the FBI should have felt threatened by him in any way to have this kind of show of power. It was all theater. And, you know, I guess they expected him to come out like Scarface or something. You know? <laughs> Right, exactly. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. <laughs> this wasn't going to happen. And and the other part of it, of course, and we talked about this last week, was the invitation, though no one will admit it, we all know it's true, the invitation to get CNN yeah. out on the scene to record this thing as it went down. Because why have this show of force? Why have all these armed agents and military vehicles if you don't have the cameras there to record it and to, and to present the, right. the image of all this to go along with it? And, you know, Ben, we've talked a lot about police militarization in years past, yeah. uh, especially you and I, we've covered a lot of this. Talk about how badly this could have turned out, given that Stone's wife is deaf. Right. Well, absolutely. You know, one of the problems that, that we've seen in other cases. Now, typically, by the way, when we see police militarization, it isn't in a neighborhood with expensive homes. His his neighbor, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson, right, the <laughs> former football player who played for the Bengals for so many years, is a neighbor and tweeted about it saying, I can't believe this just happened. My neighbor's house was raided, right, as he was getting ready to leave the house in the morning. Doesn't usually happen in multi-million dollar homes. Um, but in the areas where this does happen, anything, anything can go wrong because when you show up, um, with the FBI, when you show up with these these armored vehicles, everybody is tense. There are times, it was not in this case, obviously this was heavily orchestrated, but there have been many times the wrong homes have been entered, um, someone's in the home who doesn't know obviously this is happening, and FBI's not expecting that particular right. person, and so someone runs and is shot, flashbangs can go off and, and kill people. There was a baby, you know, that was yeah. a few years ago, had a hole blown in his chest because of a flashbang. So a lot of things can go wrong in these situations, and in this situation, Let's not forget, why were the FBI there? To arrest a man who has now been charged with having told a lie to Congress. And yes, he lied in front of Congress. And speaking of that, Ben, the charges Stone's facing doesn't seem to warrant this sort of takedown, yet there are others who have lied to Congress and are not being charged. I'm sure you can give us some examples of these people, like, uh, I don't know, James Clapper? Yeah, James Clapper is probably the biggest one, right? 2013, James Clapper lied in front of Congress when he was asked a very simple question. The Senate asked him um, in a hearing, "Have has the U.S. government, has the NSA ever spied on any group of Americans pulling data from their cell phone records and, and their metadata? And his answer was, no, it has not happened. He later said that was the least untruthful thing he could say. That's a fancy way of saying, yes, that he lied. For five years, James Clapper was never charged no one ever went after him from the Department of Justice. And in 2018, that that um, statute of limitations mm. actually ran out on that. Also, the head of the CIA has lied to Congress when they lied about the torture program and lied in front of Congress and said yeah. there was no torture program. Then lied when they said they weren't spying on U.S. senators who were investigating the torture program. So we know that very high-ranking officials in our U.S. government are on the record as having lied to Congress. Not only did they not have FBI show up there at their house and kick the door down, they weren't even charged with anything. Right. So this idea that suddenly Roger Stone is public enemy number one <laughs> yeah. um, is, 
it, it, it is, it's flimsy, it's overkill, and it's theater to build up and to continue this, this Russiagate hysteria. Yeah, Ben, we got to leave it right there. Unfortunately, we would need a whole show to go over the laundry <laughs> list of, of officials that have lied before Congress and have never been treated this way. So uh, for That's now, right. we'll leave it right there. Ben Swan, thank you so much. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.